Hey everyone, it's Brian here, and it's my great pleasure to introduce you to the newly updated Effects Collection 2. In this video, we'll be exploring all its new features, workflow updates, and enhancements. Let's get straight into it. Effects Collection is Arturia's all-in-one suite of premium vintage and modern software effects, including emulations of classic studio effects that have defined decades of hits, as well as cutting-edge audio enhancers for modern production. Inside Effects Collection, you'll find everything you need to mix, master, and create, from inspiring spatial effects to crucial dynamics. The second edition introduces seven new effects, bringing the total to 22, making it an essential collection whether you're a music producer, mixing engineer, session musician, or songwriter. Now, let's dig into the details. As already mentioned, we're thrilled to announce that from now on, Effects Collection features 22 great plugins, including the newly added modulation effects, Chorus June 6, Chorus Dimension D, Flanger BL20, and Phaser Bitron. But first and foremost, we're unveiling three completely new and exciting effects that are guaranteed to deliver a classic analog feel and contemporary creativity to your sound in equal measure. These are the Comp Diode 609 Compressor, EQ Citral 295, and the Busforce Parallel Processing Unit. The Comp Diode 609 Compressor is a carefully crafted emulation of the classic Neve 33609C stereo compressor, which uses a unique diode bridge technology at its core. For those who know the original unit, it goes without saying how much value it brings to the table as one of the most famous stereo bus compressors of all time. Our own emulation combines all the authentic original features with newly added functions, adding magic to whatever audio it touches, but it excels particularly as a go-to bus compressor. To get a glimpse of its potential, let's hear it in action on the drum bus track that I have in my current session. So the difference is subtle yet obvious. The sound is more present and full-bodied compared to its state without the compressor on. So how do we achieve this effect? Let's have a closer look at all the parameters in detail. To start off, let's define the attack and recovery settings. We want a medium attack time for the drum bus and relatively short recovery time as well. Now let's set the appropriate threshold level so the compressor starts to work and increase the makeup gain for the loss, like this. There we go, sounds awesome, and that's just a glimpse of what it can do. For all the details on this effect, make sure to check out its dedicated tutorial where we explore all of its modules and functions. The next new effect is called EQ Citral 295, inspired by a collection of unique modules originally found in 70s German broadcast consoles. It produces a smooth musical sound, is simple to use, and will work wonders on pads, vocal presence, strings, bus channels, and even a whole mix. Let's take a look. There are two channels of equalization with frequency, gain, and curve controls, as well as a few additional features like mid-side control, auto gain, character switch, and the gain range divider and multiplicator. We also added a visualizer for more precise visual feedback. Okay, now let's hear how it sounds on a mix bus with the melody and drum tracks rooted. We'll use the EQ to add some warmth and character by applying it to the whole spectrum of frequencies. To do so, simply add a small boost of gain at the low, mid, and high frequency bands. Set the low end to 100 Hz while setting the mid range to around 2300 Hz and the high end to 5 kHz. Now, when we do an A B test, we can clearly hear the difference. The mix is simply more refined and present. The Citral EQ just gives it some character and subtly introduces that vintage feel. 
There are plenty more features to discover here, so make sure you check out the dedicated tutorial for the EQ Citral 295. The final new effect that we've created for the release of Effects Collection 2 is called Bus Force. And as the name suggests, it's the most powerful software parallel processing unit ever made. It comes with an SEM-inspired filter, a Pultec style EQ, a saturation and distortion module inspired by the outstanding Overstayer units, and a compressor of Arturia's own design, which includes dual side chain detectors and the unique force control. It includes independent level controls for each path, allowing you to shape and color your sound with precision and creativity in mind. Let's try some presets to hear it in action and try some A-B testing on a mix bus, combining a few drum and melodic elements. As we can hear, the effect makes a huge difference to the dynamics and filtering of the original sound. In this case, bringing the whole mix up to the front. Now let's explore some more drastic applications. As you can tell, Bus Force can also deconstruct a sound by adding plenty of tonal color and saturation, all at your disposal. You can use it on literally any sound source and setting, be it one individual bass sound or the whole mix, and it'll do the job whether you're looking for precise EQ, filtering, creative distortion, or anything in between. It may seem like a complex effect, but the visual feedback and interface makes everything easy to understand, you can always see the current signal routing by maneuvering the mouse over the individual inputs. And of course, you can tailor your own routings to whatever you want, with a total of 36 routings to explore. As with all the new effects, we've made a dedicated tutorial where we cover all the details and quirks, so make sure to check it out. Another major bit of news is an update to the acclaimed Delay Tape 201, which now comes with a redesigned preamp section. You can now choose to work with a newly modeled Germanium preamp, the original RE201 preamp, or even no preamp at all. The differences are quite major. The RE201 almost clips harder, while the Germanium option is much smoother with lots of vibey distortion. On top of all the new great additions, every single effect in effects collection gets the SDK GUI update, bringing a better user experience with redefined browsers for easier preset management, just like all of the vCollection 8 instruments. It also comes with newly enhanced in-app tutorials for a smooth learning experience and 200 fantastic new presets for the whole collection. All right, that's it for this quick overview. We're super excited to share the next chapter of Effects Collection with you, and we're certain you'll enjoy using these great new effects on your sonic journey. Make sure to give us a thumbs up, check out our other Effects Collection tutorials, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.